Camelot 331 here, and it seems like I can't go at least one month without talking about the company that we've come to know and love as the damn shit st the GameStop. It's been wild as hell the last couple of years watching this place deteriorate, and if it wasn't for that goofy ass Reddit stock damn explosion, it would be long gone. But the employees there are making it known that uh, although you might see something different in the headlines, it has never been worse inside these stores for these people, they're messaging me every day. And in a single store on one of the biggest releases ever, the entire store was like, <laughs> and they left a note. And we're going to show you that note here in a second. And it is undamn believable. And I urge all GameStop locations to do this because either this is what needs to happen and there will be change as a result or nothing's going to change. Because the executives there, they're sucking the money dry. And the people that have uh, money invested in it, they don't care about the people either. They're just hoping to get the mean money. That's all that matters to them. So before we get into it, make sure you share this video. It's very, very important. I'm shadow banned as hell. Everything's demonetized nowadays. So make sure you watch my Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday show and follow the young locals down below. So let's jump into this naughty mess. So this says entire GameStop store quits on Zelda Tears of the Kingdom release day, and the GameStop staff posted a note about resigning over bad working conditions. Who lord! Nowadays, it's not uncommon, boys, to hear of an entire GameStop store quitting in mass. It's actually very common, as working conditions at the video game retailer continue to deteriorate. It's rarer to hear of employees resigning the day of the biggest game of the year launch. But that's apparently what happened, boys, when the, the Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom came out. It says a photo of the note was posted on Facebook by a customer named Chris Canard and subsequently reported by local media in a tweet by Gaming Deal's account. Nintendo Deal went viral. It, um, Kaner told Kotaku he was visiting the store May 12th, the day Tears of Kingdom launched, to hunt for some collectibles. I got there right before they opened and saw the sign. He said, while I was there, five other people I stopped by to pick up the pre-order were also there as well. It says, Tears of Kingdom's launch was a huge day for the ailing retailer turned meme stock phenomenon. There were lines around the block at some damn places, and several current employees told Kotaku they were inundated which whatever the hell that word means. Look, I'm from Alabama, all right? Sometimes it breaks out. Sometimes, you know, a little bit of that Alabama squeaks out. It's hard to put behind me, guys. <laughs> With in-store purchases and online orders, I will say this is the biggest launch for a game that I've seen in years. Not even recent Pokemon games had this huge of a launch. Many stores held midnight launches, and Kanert said he heard from other stores that Bright Location was one of them, with diehard fans able to get their copy of the games the night before release. It's not clear if the staff was planning to quit the next day or the midnight launch was something that put them over the edge. A new employee at Brighton location declined to comment about the situation, but told Kotaku that the store eventually reopened on Tears of Kingdom launch day within three hours of the resignations. It says, despite its meme stock continuing to defy all logic, GameStop employees have continued to report high turnover, lack of meaningful raises, usually five cents, not even joking, or zero, and more intense pressure than ever to hit unrealistic sales metrics. As a result, even some long-time staff have gotten too fed up to continue working there, and occasionally entire stores have been forced to temporarily shut down. It's crazy as hell, and I kind of wish. Here, we're gonna, let me give a thought, and we'll read the note. I think back to me being there, and I'm dodging the Karens left and right. People are, like, pooping in the corner for some reason. It was, a, it was an awful time to be alive. Every time I see, like, a 50-year-old white lady, like nowadays, I have PTSD. It's like being back in the war, man. It's absolutely intense. And that's what GameStop did to me, damn you. And I wish, I wish I could have staged a damn walkout with all my employees. But also, I had a mortgage. So, uh, a lot of respect for these people. Let's read the note, boys. It says right here, Unfortunately, due to poor working conditions, the staff of the Brighton GameStop has decided to resign effective immediately. Management overworks underpays and underappreciates its frontline workers, sets unrealistic expectations, and constantly threatens termination for any employee that cannot exceed them. Shocking. To all our loyal guests, we are terribly sorry for this inconvenience. We appreciate every one of you and your continued business, but I literally cannot pay my rent. If you have any questions, complaints, comments, please forward them to the regional manager, Tim Keeley, and district manager, James Moreland, which are probably, I'm going to assume, are probably terrible people, uh, which is why their names are plastered on that bitch. That's what I do. 
It's like a petty thing. You know, it's like a petty. <laughs> That's what I do. This person right here says, former uh, GameStop worker, I literally dreamed of doing this so many times. The management is terrible and sets completely unrealistic goals and then fires you and closes the store when you can't meet them. Now, granted, I don't know if they would close the store. They'd just get some more bitches in there. It says, unfortunately, they decided to reopen the store with employees from other stores, which is exactly what they do. That's the entire tactic. I believe I appreciate how professional this is written, which is what I noticed immediately. I'm like, damn, I would have been like, uh, my DM sucks. His face looks like a football. I want to hit it with my fist and my Minecraft, hope he gets hit by a bus, maybe in Minecraft, maybe he falls and catches his eyelid on a nail. I don't know. It says, I worked at GameStop when I was 19 and they would leave me alone to manage the store in the evenings because they didn't want to pay for two staff. Which, when I eventually got assaulted while at work alone, I got fired. Shocking. We've heard that story a hundred times. I mean, we got robbed all the time at GameStop and like it never changed anything, right? Like they literally never cared. They were like, oh, well, you should probably do better cash drops. And I'm like, but won't they just see no money in the register and be like, yeah, I'm going to shoot this guy. <laughs> oh, my gosh, boys. The entire staff. That blows me away. And like I said, it's something I wish I could have done. I hate that. I absolutely hate it. And I, 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 the reason I'm like kind of stumbling is because I'm reading comments. And I hate where people are like, oh, uh, you, you knew the job when you signed up. Like, I get it. I, I get what you're saying when you're like, you knew what the job was going to be when you signed up. So you can't be unhappy. And I'm like, you can be unhappy. Like for one, it's not legal to like want something to improve. I don't understand that. It's like, well, find another job. It's not that easy for everybody, right? It's not that easy. Sometimes you're living paycheck to paycheck. Actually, a lot of people are. The vast majority of people are. So it just doesn't work like that. We can't move back into mom's basement, son. It doesn't work like that. I can't make stomach pancakes to Brie Larson when she hosted Jimmy Kimmel because he was sick and her boobies were tight, son. <laughs> can't do that. It's not in the cards for me. What do you guys think about GameStop's entire store leaving? Is that something you would do? I wish I would have done it. It was just me that left. I should have took everybody with me in like a not death way. <laughs> make sure you guys share this video. Get to hell on it, doggone it. It blows me away. I love you. I appreciate you. Demoralize, demonetize, but not stopping. Get the hell on it. <laughs> doggone it. Bye. Yeah.